broadcast is fundamentally important. Fundamentally important. The great definition uh, of a brand, and I think it's so, it, you should have it, every marketing person should have it above their walls, is a brand is made not just by the people who buy it, but by the peop also by the people who know about it. And that requires broadcast. Whatever you define as broadcast, you can define it any way you like, but basically you have to broadcast in some shape or form. You know, I always think, um, <clears throat> I sometimes use religious metaphors because it upsets some people and uh, it makes a good point. But I always think, you know, Christ, he didn't stand on the rock and preach to the masses, Did, you know, he preached to the masses, didn't he? He got up on the rock and he preached to the masses. He didn't get up on the rock and say, now look, I'd just like to talk to 18 to 24 year olds with a disposable income of 24 shekels a week. No, he spoke to the masses. Because ultimately he was trying to convert. He was trying to get people to join him. And a brand ultimately doesn't know where all its people are. You've got to broadcast. You know that? Whoever said, you know, 50% of my advertising uh, is wasted, nobody can tell me which 50%. Was obviously a complete idiot and didn't know, and didn't know anything about advertising. Um, but yet it's always used, isn't it? Oh, that's a very clever thing to say. No, it's not. It fails to understand that a part of what you're doing is conversion. Because if you're not converting, you're dying. And if your job is to help the brand die, then fine. That's, you know, it's a different definition from the one I thought. One of the things that really pisses me off today, you know, is, you know, we talk about, you know, we've gone from the age of interruption to the age of entertainment. And I'm spending most of my time now answering questions about, about how brands are tripping the, uh, the audience up into seeing their messages. You know, I'll, impl I'll embed something on a piece of, you know, a twat or a twit or whatever it is, or, you know. <laughs> and, you know, no, I mean, I, you know, it's wonderful, I love it. Um, and, you know, it's about deception. You know, and I say to people, I did not come into this business to be deceptive. I really didn't. I came into this business because I thought I could create work that was inspiring. And I think great brands are inspiring. They inspire people to come to them. And the ones that last the longest are the ones that are doing that. And even though people say we've moved from the age of interruption to entertainment, then, you know, uh, they're not really... Stop.